Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna unbox, install, and review this large 400 watt solar street light. And as you guys can tell, just from the size of this box, it's really huge. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing, let's see what comes out of it. It also has a remote control. So we have a metal bracket. This is probably to angle either the solar or the actual light itself. So taking this out of the box, the instruction says solar street light 300 watts. However, on the box it says 400 watts. I think this is the 400 watt version because that's the one I selected. So they probably just put the wrong manual in here. Granted, all this information is in here, how long it's gonna work and stuff. This one says 10,000 lumens, but that might be for the 300 watt version, but it does have the remote control, tells you all the options and stuff. And essentially, it tells you how to install it as well. But essentially, what you wanna do is you kinda wanna point it at the sun to get as much of a charge as possible. So looking at the light itself, so, yeah, it is the 400 watt version because it says 400 watts right here. So I don't know if you guys could see that in the camera, but it, it does say 400 watts. It's a little hard to tell, but it says 400 watts. Okay, so this looks like the motion sensor. We have a whole bunch of LEDs, and this connects directly to the solar. And so this might attach. This is probably designed to attach to this pole. And it is metal, if you guys are wondering. So this is the part that would attach to the wall, and that light would attach to this, and this is probably gonna go here if I had to guess, and the solar panel would probably attach to this, and based on these angles, you could place it at a certain angle to However, you know, to basically line up these holes in a way where you're going to get the maximum amount of sun, depending on the angle you install it. And this is for if you're attaching it to a pole or something, you could put place this in the back and then tighten it with the bolts and nuts that I'm assuming it comes with. Okay, so this is the remote control. Normal remote control, nothing fancy. Looks like, I don't know, I'd probably say AAA batteries. And on off, you got your different modes. And, okay, so you got your wall anchors. So that's kind of nice that they include four of these. They probably have a few different options. Okay, you have your bolts and nuts right here four of them if you're gonna attach it to a pole and let's see what else it comes with and yeah so they give you two AAA batteries and a whole bunch of other uh, bolts and nuts and stuff to attach things to each other and that's probably it all right so let's take a look at the solar panel itself Okay, so this is definitely a large solar panel and you get some distance with the wires. So you don't necessarily have to attach it on top. You could probably place it somewhere else. So as long as this cable that attaches to this attaches here and reaches. So there's some distance there. And yeah, so yeah, it's a fairly large size solar panel which is going to charge this thing Let's talk about its functions, starting with 
turning it on. So green means it's in motion sensing mode and it, because it detected me, I was within its vicinity, it turned on to full brightness. Otherwise, it's a constant, very low light from dusk to dawn. And then red, which I'm gonna turn it on to light sensing mode, which that little light thing goes red. That is light sensing mode, which means the light is fully on until for either a set period of time or all the way through and then it basically turns off when the sun comes out and starts charging and then you basically have different timers and then you have a combination of light sensing and motion sensing mode and this is full brightness and that's half brightness full brightness half brightness